And I forgot to tell that we need to use the pink color too. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I don't know what my YouTube name's gonna be, but I got some suggestions and I'm gonna just say Dead Ria Boo, okay? That is my name. My name is Maria, but to shorten it because I don't like it. You know what? Who cares? Just Ria Dead Ria Boo, alright? Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, I wasn't expecting to make a YouTube channel today, if I have to be quite honest. Because, I don't know, I'm scared. I don't really like, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm too scared to put myself out there sometimes. I already did my eyebrows. I mean, I already did my eyebrows. I will show you how to do eyebrows in another video, okay? But right now, I just did my eyebrows. Okay, it shouldn't be like that. Okay, but... I did my eyebrows off camera already. I haven't made my base yet, which I probably should do actually. Be right back. No, wait. I could also just let you follow me. See how I do my base. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yes. Shut up. <laughs> so, because even though you can't see it, I have very, very dark tear through hollows. I don't know what you really call them. And that's why I use a color corrector from Dragoon Beauty. Mama Dragoon and I happen to really love it because my two or three really needs that shit and I'm gonna put it under my eyes and blend it out I don't need to show you that <laughs> so obviously you shouldn't put this much but um, I got a little bit distracted yeah moving on for foundation I use Milani conceal and perfect 2-in-1 foundation but I have to mix it with this one the LA Pro Girl Color Foundation Mixing Pigment Because I don't know how to order off the internet <laughs> I'm so awkward, this is my first time doing it, okay? I don't know what I'm doing I'm just I'm just trying to make my way through my makeup routine But what with you? Okay, I'm gonna put my foundation on You just Punch your face with it That's just the young and beautiful like me. Where's my concealer? My trusty Tarte Tape Shape Concealer. I don't know, I really love it. One of just, it's just one of those um, concealers that just really conceal. I have really bad under eyes, so it's nice for me. Yep. So my technique for this is I don't like putting a lot on, even though, you know, my tear through is kind of bad. I just put it like Boop, boop, boop. Like, see, that's that's what you really need. And also, I put it here just to, you know, make some reflection. So it doesn't really show my tear through that much. I don't know, it's just to make the reflection so it looks like you notice my tear through less. I don't know, I saw this in another girl's video. And I just kind of tried to do that. And I mean, it, it helped for me. So if you got some bad tear throughs down there, I mean on your face try it now what I do once my base is done I just let it rest for like a good minute or so so that um, it can kind of sit into my place and when I put powder on kind of stays there I don't know I just wanted to I just want my base to sit set first basically so I wait a minute I'll come back when that minute is done Me. I it okay, since one minute had passed, probably a little bit more, but around one minute, I'm gonna bake my face. Yes, yes, I will bake my face. I do not recommend to bake if you're just going for a really like nice, subtle daily look, you know. For daily's lifestyle, I wouldn't bake. I really, really, really wouldn't. Unless you're really like... You, unless you really, 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 really want your base to just look mad always, you know, and don't want that nice, skinny, <laughs> that nice, skin glow, dewy look that looks like skin, I really wouldn't recommend it. But since I am just gonna do my makeup look for a makeup look, I'm gonna bake. But I use Huda Beauty Baking Powder. Um, 
I haven't tried that many others, but this was the first one or one of the first ones that I bought and I still I still like it. Um no no this is my second package. This is my second product. What do you say? <laughs> this is my second baking powder. I have a powder on my fingers. I wait five minutes, three to five minutes and I'm back. Better stay put. Don't go away from this video, really. I mean, if you can if you want to, but don't. I think it's time now. I don't care. I'm just gonna brush it off. Now, you can stop here if you want to. But I'm gonna take my dragon. Dragon. I'm gonna take my dragon beauty. Every time I look at this, I'm like, I feel like a baddie. Like, I'm like, oh my god. Like, I feel like Sailor Moon or something. Because of the hearts, you know? Like, they're cute, okay? Dab it on like this. Also on my nose because like I have like a hook thing on my nose and I just feel like it kind of helps, you know, make it seem so much more, less noticeable. It's actually time for eyeshadow and today's eyeshadow look is inspired by someone on Instagram called Arts or Artistry. I'm just gonna add it somewhere so you can see it yourself, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this jello, jello color. And I'm gonna put it like right here in my inner corner thing. I'll show you. I'm not good at explaining. Okay, so I'm right now I'm just priming the eyes. I can smell fries. Just really pack it really nicely here. I'm just gonna use face paint because um really I don't know, I'm just missing that shade. And I'm just gonna dab it like per usual and then I'm gonna blend it out, you know. Any times when I do makeup, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm doing my makeup. Like, what am I actually doing? Like, what am I trying to accomplish? I'm gonna dip into this one. <laughs> I'm gonna dip into this one and then just put it out like at the outer corner of my ease. This color. And the hair, like I already did. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a very messy video. It's my first, so. What? Also, if you absolutely must wonder. I poked that by accident and I forgot to tell that we need to use a pink color too. I don't know, I'm just gonna let it be like this for now. I'm gonna do my eyeliner quick because it's kind of like a part of the look. Okay, so we take a white liner or whatever you have and then put that on top of your black eyeliner. Like this. And then you should put like another line like up here-ish I think. Since I have a lot different eye, it's like her and just gonna... Actually, it doesn't go well for me like 90% of the time, and that's why I just improvise a lot, you know, it's cool. It's all good, as long as you can improvise and just be like, okay, I made a mistake, and here we are fixing my mistake, but um, we could also choose to embrace the mistake and, you know, make it look cute. Makeup look is gonna look horrible while I'm doing it, but it's gonna end up looking okay in the end. Well, for now, at least the eye is kind of done, and I'm just gonna finish my other eye of camera. Boo! So, I just put off my eyelashes, my fig lashes of camera. And now I'm gonna draw my jellyfish. I'm just gonna want to draw one jellyfish, I think. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna start by outlining it, actually. So, I added a few dots and whatsoever, and now I'm gonna take the colors that I did before and just kind of um, make it look more jellyfishy. And you can just kind of like mix them how you want to actually, you know, like to make it look really, really pretty and cute. I'm just gonna outline them like I did before, so um, yeah, you can like see the shapes but more accurate than you know. The Instagram video, I just feel so much more safer because I'm like, I kind of have, I have an idea what I'm, I don't have an idea what I'm doing but kind of like I'm aware ish you know because you kind of make the transitions and there's a they look cute and all and then you you do YouTube videos and it's just a whole complete other other thing you're doing so I'm gonna add some small dots like along the lines to make it more jellyfish Okay, so basically, we have outlined it, added cute little dots, you know, bubbles, circles for whatever, and then, you know, made it look really nice and everything. I promise I'm gonna improve on this. I'm really bad right now, I know, but um, yeah. 
It is that easy. So I'm gonna add some stars too. But yeah, we got the jellyfish and what do I actually do now? Oh, highlight! Purr. I totally forgot about that. Sarcophage. Sarcophagus. I don't know. I'm not an English speaker, so I'm sorry. I'm not born in any English speaking country. I had to learn my stuff from scratch, so don't judge me, bitches. Nose tip. I'd add a little bit of like cute little um highlight in my inner corner also up in the abria bone we can have one side like this just a little bit cuteness and then also do on my lips like i just don't know which color i would put on so i just always highlight you know i think that's a really pretty lip look okay so i did some bubbles because i feel like there was something missing on this side and i just used the same technique you know you first draw the outline then you dab the colors in, draw the outline again, add the little light things in the bubbles, and then I add stars, dots, and voila! Now for contour. I'm gonna get my- I can't find my contour palette. Okay, I seem to have lost my um, contour palette, so we don't care about that. I'm just gonna take James Charles's... Um, a tistery palette and I'm gonna dive into the color that fits mine and then I'm just gonna contour like that. I actually only um, contour like down here because it's like, I don't know, I just don't really like contouring anywhere else because I don't feel like I need to, you know? We need to set our um, everything first. Okay, there we go. Whew. Where's my fan? I'm a very messy person. I don't actually know where most of my stuff are. 90% of the time, everyone's getting tired of me. I'm getting tired of me. So, this is the finished look. And I am actually okay with it. I don't know, for me, it always starts out horrible when I do my makeup. Like, I don't know what I'm doing 90% of the time, especially when it comes to the eyeshadow. And then later, you know, but it's like, I feel like it's a very important thing that you don't just give up. You know, you just start your makeup and you see it turning out like shit. You don't quit that. You hear me? You improvise like I did and make it into a look. We all do mistakes. Now it depends on you if you want to let those mistakes get to you. And let you actually fail rather than trying to just make it a nice look. Okay, but if you're just this first failure, not really failure, but kind of failure because I don't know what to do video, please go down and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click on the bell bell thing so you can see when I come out with the next, when my next video. And yeah. Anyhow, take care of yourself. Don't get sick, please. And see you in the next one. Bye.